the worldwide headquarters of More Sports and Less Levine on a Tuesday night. Good evening, everyone. Welcome once again. More Sports and Less Levine brought to you by McDonald's Restaurants of Northeast Ohio. Waiting for next year, next decade, next century. Uh, great website. Uh, Todd Derry is here. Craig Lindell is here. There's Todd Derry. There's Craig right now. Yes. You guys want to take over? I got I to gotta leave. I heard the line just went down at the casino. <laughs> oh, <yeah>, quick. <laughs> did, did traffic get in your way on the way down here? No, not at all. No. I was a little concerned last night. You know, I left last night because I heard the traffic was so bad. Right. 4,000 people waiting in line. This yeah. is quite a town. <laughs> so 4,000 people. It's now a 24-hour city. I, it's good news. What well, else is there to do besides <laughs> go to the casino at 3 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing good happens no. after 2, oh, right? Well, so. hold on a second. Are you, are you opposed to this? No, this great I renaissance think, no, for no, the no, city? No, no. This is the are best thing that's happened in years. amazing. And you know, you've known me for a long time. I'm yeah. very pro-legalized gambling. Right. I'm thrilled. Dan Gilbert is put, has put more money into the city than anybody. Can you, can you well, think of anybody? he'll be taking some out. Though. True, but think of somebody who has no ties to Cleveland, buys a team in right. this town, transforms it into a winner, gets the entire city behind him, brings in, cas wins casino gambling, and makes it actually happen. I mean, think about how long we've been talking about the medical mart in this town. Sure, sure. Well, the other thing, um, I, I claim that because of LeBron James, that that put Gilbert out there popularity-wise, and which, which helped him get the referendum passed. Oh, absolutely. I mean, had, I wonder, you know, it, it would be an interesting thing. It's hindsight, but had LeBron left two years prior, or right. we didn't, or we didn't have LeBron, would that have passed? If, if you would voted Gilbert today, have, for example, right? Would Gilbert yeah. have that if, kind of support? I right. Don't if know he hadn't answer. signed the first extension, if LeBron hadn't yeah. signed on for, right. yeah, you're probably right. Probably doesn't happen. I mean, LeBron said he'd light up Vegas when he got, I'd like the light up the town <laughs> like Vegas, and, and he did. I think it's terrific for the town. I, I know yeah. the problems that come with it, and I, I understand that, but I think the, the well, 1,600 yeah. people getting hired is okay with me. Well, and that's, and that's the thing, is I, I voted against it once, but it's like, at some point, you can't bury your head in the sand. It's, it, it's, it's out there. It's going to happen. You, it I, might as well not ship it over the border. Can I ask why you, did, you voted against it? Uh, I do think, I do feel it's kind of a tax on a self-imposed tax on people. Um, of course, and, <laughs> yeah, you nobody's, know. Of course. <laughs> nobody's uh, putting a gun to your head. We might be better off if we didn't have it, but the, the fact is that it's accessible even just over the borders anyway. Yeah, you so. drive to Erie, drive yeah. to Pittsburgh, you so may as well keep it here. Exactly. The amount of Ohioans. All right, we took care of that social problem. Any, <laughs> any other political issues? <laughs> no, that's that we it. That's discuss? it. 216-575-0403. You can email us at less at fivefront.com. Todd Derry is here. Craig Lindell is here. Uh, Todd Derry uh, was separated at birth. Uh, you know, a lot of people think his brother is Matt Derry. That's incorrect. He separated at birth. There's Todd Derry there. And on the left, ladies and gentlemen, MVP of the National League, that would be Ryan Braun. You guys don't see that? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. I mean, look, I wish I had his bankroll. Yeah, that's true. I'll take everybody thinking I'm a steroid user for his bank account. It'd be well Have worth you it. ever gotten an arbiter fired? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I've also never used performance enhancing uh, they, drugs either. They, they said Maybe it had should. nothing to do with that decision, by the way, that he got fired. Uh huh. Right. They said, I'm sure. So they must, okay. it must okay. be the case. It's right. in a press release, it has to be it true. It has to yes. be true. Time to take a look at uh, MSNLL headlines brought to you by our friends at Bedford Nissan. It's, it's the dealer on the Bedford Auto Mile. The Indians are a winner today, uh, defeating, uh, well, first of all, Kyrie Irving officially. This is the, the worst kept secret in the world. The rookie of the year, Kyrie Irving, officially announced today, although Dan Gilbert said because he's only 20, he's not allowed to have a drink at his casino. Uh, Indians beat the Twins 5-0. They sweep the two-game series. Derek Lowe pitches a complete game shutout. Leads the majors now with six wins. Through, uh, as Matt Underwood told us, he threw 127 <laughs> pitches in that game. 216-575-0403. By the way, we're giving away a free oil change courtesy of our friends at Bedford Nissan. It's the dealer. All you have to do is email me at less at fivefront.com or msnll at aol.com just to put oil change in your name and address. And you only have to do it once. We're giving away uh, one a week. And once you enter, you are entered whether you want to be or not. We have a, a, um, a brand new secret word because uh, Rich from Westlake, who won last week, said it again last night. So we had to disqualify him. So throw out uh, that word. And it's a brand new word. And it's a word uh, used in just about every sport that I can think of at the professional level anyway. Uh, say that secret word. We'll send you to Sokolowski's University. And we have a question of the week. This week's question of the week involves the NBA playoffs without Chris Bosh. Will the Heat win the NBA title? For purposes of uh, this discussion, we'll say he uh, uh, won't be back for 
as long as the Heat uh, are uh, are still playing. So, TD, what do you think? Chris Bosh, uh, win, do they win or do they lose? Well, readers of mine will know that I am NBA free and I've divorced myself from the league completely. However, <laughs> I will answer the question yeah, because for, I have yeah. to. Do I think they'll win without Chris yeah. Bosh? No. And the only reason Did you I, think they would have with him? Yes. And without him, they won't. Correct. But, I would say Oklahoma City will win the title. Not, and that's a completely... I know nothing about the league anymore. I've divorced myself hoping. from the league, hoping more than... And you divorced anything. yourself from the league for... When what the reason? lockout happened, yeah. I was so turned off by everything that went down, by how greedy and obnoxious the players were. Billy Hunter, the director of the Players Union, is a complete buffoon in my opinion. And I, I just... These guys are haggling over billions and billions of dollars. They're the most overpaid people in all of sports. And I just, I, I was never a huge NBA fan. I'm a college basketball fan more. And I, I just was done. I didn't need it anymore. And you know what, as great as, I'm thrilled that the Cavs are doing great. I'm happy about Kyrie Irving, but I can honestly say I did not watch more than five minutes of one game this entire season. Is that right? True. Craig Lindell, what do you think? Do they win without Chris Bosh? I say no. Uh, I mean, he's, he's an important, is, despite who he is and what we think of him, he's an import, important guy and he, he plays big. Um, you know, going to come up against a lot of big guys. And so I say no. But oh, I will. Two weeks ago, do you say they win with him? I, certainly they're the odds on favorite. But I, I will say that I do find it, I, I agree with a lot of what TD said about, you know, the the basketball union, right. um, and that turned me into a Cavs fan. I didn't watch any national games all year. I didn't watch anything on TNT. I told, I said so you I didn't have to see the Cavs right. then. I said I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't watch any TNT games until they involve the Cavaliers again. But the idea is that, so baseball passes their, their collective bargaining agreement with no problem, and Albert Pujols goes and makes all that money, but he wants to talk about the overpaid players in the NBA. <laughs> That's true. I mean, look, there's, plenty, there's <laughs> overpaid athletes in every single sport, but I don't find who has a Albert bigger competitive Pujols, problem than I, I totally than agree. Major League Baseball. I, I'm not disagreeing. Well, with you hold on, on a second. If St. Louis, arguably the best baseball town in the country, can't keep Albert Pujols, what does that tell you about the game? They could. They were just over. I mean, they offered almost 200 million dollars. If some look, if Albert Pujols wants to spend wants 250 million dollars instead of 200 million dollars to get out of his comfort zone. It's entirely up to him. And I do think there's a 100% a competitive imbalance in baseball. It's ridiculous when you compare that the Indians are playing in the same sport as the Yankees. It's not fair. That said, we are creative in this town, Tampa Bay, they're creative. I, I grew up loving the sport of baseball. And, and I've said this a million times, by the way, if the, we were in the AL East still, I don't know if I'd feel this way, the best thing Dick Jacobs ever did was move, was make sure that this team was in the AL Central. Right. Because otherwise, think about it, would we no. ever compete in the no. AL East? No, well, in, 95, in the mid-90s it would have. But yeah. getting back to, to Craig's point, I just, it's the players in the NBA are so obnoxious, I, I just, the way they conducted everything. And David Stern, that's another problem. I think he's the most arrogant man in all of sports. He bullied all the players. He bullies the other owners. I, I find him to be very condescending. And I just, I just don't enjoy it. And I, you know what else? I'm a college basketball fan. You go to a college regular season game and go to a pro uh, regular season game and compare the two. Oh, it it's means something. It's bells college, and whistles, yeah. and you know they're giving away something at every time out. And you know, I, give, give me the, the experience. Yeah, give me the pageantry of a college basketball game all day. Give, I'll go see Ohio State play. You know, Towson. I, pref I, I prefer hip-hop beats as the point guards bringing the ball up the court in the NBA <laughs> there you go. to, to you know, substitute for actual Listen, excitement. Listen, you guys from <laughs> WaitingForNextYear.com, you sound like the voice of truth and reason, but until... But we're not. Yeah, and, and we, made, we never I'm will still be. Around, That's right. I'm still around. Uh, while most people are still unhappy with the acquisition of Ubaldo Jimenez by the Indians, not many are giving Chris Antonetti credit for signing Derek Lowe. Today he went out and threw a six-hit shutout against the Minnesota Twins to go 6-1 and one for the season. If the All-Star game were to start today, or was to be held today, he'd probably be the starting pitcher for the American League. Admittedly, the Twins are horrible, and while they were once the envy of middle market teams because of their continued success with very little payroll, they now are an example of what not to do. They signed their local catcher, Joe Maurer, for somewhere in the vicinity of $24 million a year on a multi-year contract, and as a result, they had no money for Michael Kadire, Joe Nathan, and a couple others, and Justin Morneau is still struggling to come back from an injury. Despite the new stadium, the Twins, known for their consistency, are officially in trouble. 
You wonder why the Indians didn't or couldn't sign C.C. Sabathia, Cliff Lee, Jim Tomey, Manny Ramirez, and others? Look at the Minnesota Twins today. They'll provide you with that answer. There's a team that hung on. Now they're done. They're dead in the water. They're the worst team in baseball. And I got to tell you, I looked at that lineup the last two days. They look like a 1980s Indians team. But if they came up Mauer. and they gave up and they and they gave, got rid of Joe Mauer or let him walk, the, the people around there they were in would, a complete would be upset. Lose-lose situation. And unfortunately for them, while they signed their local hero, his game has fallen completely totally. off the table since he signed that contract. It's and true. since he's in that ballpark, yep. the new ballpark. You know, he's hit two homers yeah. in three years That's inside that ballpark. Jose Batista Is that hurt, right? had two. He missed a lot of last year. Yeah. It's been three years. And Jose Batista in 50 at-bats has seven homers in that ballpark. He's Travis Hafner times two. Oh, yeah. Travis Hafner. It's, it's Hafner's giving you something now. Yeah. Right. Mauer's Ma hitting about 280 with 15 RBIs and one homer, one I home. think. 216-575-0403. You can email us during the show at less at fivefront.com. The North Park Grill, great place at the entrance to uh, John Carroll University. A different menu for lunch and dinner. Check it out at northparkgrill.com. Then go to diningforless.com. $50 worth of coupons, just 20 bucks. You can't beat it at the at the diningforless.com. Yours Truly Restaurant is there, so is Restaurant Europa and Pepper Pike, as well as the Mad Greek. We'll be back in a moment. We are brought to you by McDonald's Restaurant. Amazing tickets, any game, any concert. You want to go to Yankee Stadium, uh, Wrigley Field, or Fenway Park, you can do it with amazing tickets. Check out virtual reality at amazingtickets.com or call Mark at 216-591-1800. Today is the 15th of May, born on this day, Chuck Roast in 1947, Ooh. George Brett, 1953, John Smoltz, Leroy Horde, Emmett Smith, Desmond Howard, and Ray Lewis, seen on the left. It's uh, a great birthday day. Not bad. Leroy Hoard, one of my all-time favorite Browns. Well, his Nobody number 33, uh, of course, is too slippery for Trent Richardson. What is that all about? The, 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 the ball knows. slips off the extra number? <laughs> It'll only matter if he's no good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think he'll be good? Right now, of course. No, I don't mean right now. I yeah, mean, no, five I years from now, you say, wow, that guy's phenomenal. I think, I think he's got the right physical makeup. For once, you know, he's, he's, he's a, a muscular guy, but he's compact. You don't, you don't imagine him, you know, <sighs> lanky, trying to run through a hole. Right. You, you like those, those calves are on, uh, we were talking about it last night. Unbelievable how, how thick they are. You need your running back to look like a cannonball nowadays, and, right. and he does. Right. All right, we haven't spoken. With wild dreadlocks. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for next year, guys. TD, Todd Derry, and Craig Lindell are here. So we haven't talked since the draft. Just what do you think? Well, you know, now it's it's out there. First of all, talking about Richardson, I was pro Richardson from the beginning. I think that if you can have in our division, with with the way things are, we're going to have to grind it out and keep the other offenses off the field. And the fact that we this is the best. I mean, I am 36 years old. This is the best running back we've ever had with a pedigree like this. I mean, growing up, my top. Running you mean back, ever since you've been so, around? That's what I said. Yeah. In my thir in my 36 years on right. this earth, this is the best pedigreed running back that we have. This is a guy like Adrian Peterson. We should run, run him into the ground for the next five years, and if he can't do it anymore, then fine. That's, you know, it's been that's, a good run, it, so to but, speak. But still, I would literally hand this guy the ball over and over and over again for the next five years and, and feature him heavily in the offense. All-star emailer Ben checking in at 616 tonight says, what do you mean NBA arrogance? Meta World Peace said when he was asked about shaking uh, James Harden's hand, he says, I don't shake substitutes' hands. <laughs> that's arrogance? <laughs> It's a good line, though. I'll give him that. <laughs> it is a good line. Do you that. think he knew that when he when he said it? No, uh, no he just knows. Said it. He's you know he's Rodman basically. <laughs> right. You know, he's the new Rodman. Craig, what do you think draft wise? What how they do? Um, I I don't think they did as well as they wanted to do, but overall I, I think they did pretty well. I think um, they had a lot of ideas as to the perfect way it could go, and I think they left some some moves on the table, but. But they didn't want to get left out on the, those guys. All things considered, they, yeah. they accomplished a lot. You know, I think they went in with this plan. Now Holmgren has said so. They went in with the plan of getting Richardson and Kendall Wright and then hoping maybe trade up right. into the, right. to get the first also. to get Whedon. That's a home run. I think what they did, though, I liked, you know, people weren't thrilled about getting Mitch Schwartz. But you know what? We have a huge hole at right tackle, and that's now Not been filled. Not anymore, you don't. Yeah, that's right. now been filled. Yeah. So they didn't do anything wide receiver-wise, but they filled some other needs. You know, if they, they get paid to the I, – I, I can't believe I'm drinking the Kool-Aid, but they get, these guys are getting paid to know who the great, great wide receivers are. And if they didn't think that yeah, one right. of those top guys was, was right. good enough, then they shouldn't have taken yeah. it. Let's go to Kerry in Cleveland. Kerry, go ahead. You're our leadoff man tonight. 
Okay, how you doing, guys? Good, how about uh, you? T- Todd Derry, I agree with you 1,000% about the NBA. Most overrated. <laughs> I don't watch it either, and it is just atrocious. Anyway, that's not what I really called. The call is, I called the last a couple of weeks ago or maybe 10 days ago. My eye test, I hope you guys eye test, we have a great baseball, I mean great, good baseball team. I great think we're, baseball we're the team? Second best, I think we're the second best team in the major leagues. Wow. Yes, I think we're the second best team Carrie, in the major leagues. Carrie, best, think, based on what? Well, Attendance. <laughs> we have the best, we have, right now, we have not really any injuries. Everybody else has an injury, a key injury. Maybe Texas doesn't. That's what I mean. Us in Texas so far, we have the five. We have five good starters. We have had good starts on all our starting pitching. And now I think Manny found a leadoff man. I think we got Chu being leadoff, and I think that's going to be a key. Now the only thing that I have a question about is left field, and I really, I, they, they might have to. I think they should go out. Uh, not right now, but there's going to be some guys out there for some other teams. One guy that I think is going to be up for a, pre, uh, for, for a, a trade is a guy at Philadelphia. He's a center fielder, but Shane Victorino would be pretty nice here, or a guy maybe even a little bit more slugging than that. But I just think the if you guys take the eye test right now, and I think this weekend, my prediction, 100,000 fans for three games. Uh, now, I doubt that because of the uh, lack of, of uh, pre-sale on that. And, of course, the weather is going to be great, but I, I don't know that the pre-sale is not good right now. Well, I'll tell you what, a couple, a couple of things to this point. I, I think he was saying we're the second best team in the American League. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Our, Texas is hands down the best team in the American League. I don't think anybody in will baseball. argue with that. Yeah. In baseball. Right. Yeah. I think we're probably, if, I mean, Tampa Bay doesn't have Longoria. But their pitching is just as strong as ours. Detroit, their pitching is bad, but I would take their lineup over ours 100, 100 times over 100. Are you going to really say that we're better than the Yankees? In, in a short series, though, you put me in a five-game series with anybody take my with our pitching, yeah. I'll take my chances as right. If we could just – this is very reminiscent of the 2017 because they have, you know, the two-out lightning that they've had so much of this year. They got a rock solid bullpen. They got a really solid rotation. Problem is they're susceptible to left handed pitching. Well, that's a major, it's major, a big problem. major problem that's big not problem. going away, might I um, All star emailer Ben follows up and is talking about Steven Strasburg. They put an innings limit on him. Are you aware of this? They yeah. said they're going to shut him down at 160 innings. And they're in first place. And they're in first place. Uh, I. I don't know that I get that. By the way, he's got 44 innings so far. I think that's insane. If, you're, if your fan base hasn't seen a winning team since you've been right. back and you're and you in get to first September place, 10th. you're going to sit your ace pitcher. Yeah. Because you, when you have a chance to win, you go for it now. You, you, you don't yeah. hold your horse because maybe in five years, you know, he, he devil's, might not. Devil's advocate. The, the, the guy's got doctors and surgeons and trainers and everything else. I mean... To some point, okay. I mean, I understand what you're Indians, saying. If this was the Indians and we were going to well, shut down our it. best pitcher and we were, how, how would you feel? You, you, you know, you, you know I wouldn't, you'd be I wouldn't, out. I wouldn't like September it. September 15th, you shut him down and he doesn't play in the postseason? No, I, I, I'm not saying I'm in favor of it, but it, you, you can know, see why they're doing it? He's coming back from a surgery. At, at like, point, these are actual things. It's not like, it's not like he's just wimping out. Who's, you who's, know? Who made the rule? What doctor made the rule that, oh, surgery, 160 innings, we shut you down? How do they know? Why isn't it 158? Why isn't it 162? What? It's, a, it's a good question. I'm sure they'll revisit along the way. Right. And they have a plan right now. But... Far be it from me to, to tell a guy who had a major surgery how much he can handle so you in a year. Tomorrow night, if he starts, he should pitch three innings and get him out of there? There's <laughs> no, no, no way they are going <laughs> to shut him down if they're in first place. I, I can't imagine that. if they do that. and they lose in the first round, and yeah. let's say they get swept three yep. games to nothing and they shut him down, they should fire the general manager. They should fire the entire organization. 216-575-0403. You can email us at less at fivefront.com. The Mad Greek with uh, two locations, one at uh, Beachwood Place at the food court and then at uh, Fairmount and Cedar at top of Cedar Hill. Go to diningforless.com right now. $50 worth of coupons, just $20 right now during the blowout sale while they last at uh, diningforless.com. Todd Derry is with us. Craig Lindell is with us. They are with uh, waitingfornextyear.com, and we're brought to you by McDonald's Restaurants in Northeast Ohio. Good place for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or uh, late night uh, at all locations. They've got happy hour at all locations except for the one at Shaker Square. 
And again, you can go to diningforless.com, pick up a $40 gift card, use it like cash, keep a running balance at just 25 bucks right now at diningforless.com with a whole bunch of other great values. Time for a How Come Quickie. Tonight we ask you the following question. How come if the battery on your remote is dead, it does not help to press the button even harder? We've all done it, have we not? Absolutely. Or move the batteries, you know, just open it up bit. and move the batteries like that. You know yeah. that move? That's sort of like the classic how come quickie of when you're looking for an address, you turn the sound down on the radio. We all do it. Yeah. We all do it. Well, and there's <laughs> nothing more satisfying than the clack when you bang the remote in your hand. <laughs> Something about the, the way it reverberates. Exactly. Yeah, it's awesome. Exactly. What, what are we talking about on uh, waitingfornextyear.com? Well, I'll tell you. I want to talk about Derek Lowe. Go ahead. Six Last and one. week, Scott wrote a piece on our website about how great he's been for us and what a coup it was. You mentioned it in, in your uh, opening statements. This guy, we basically gave away a nothing prospect and Atlanta's paying $10 million right. and we're, we're, we're watching somebody who has been the stabilizing force of the rotation. He's been the stopper. Five of his six wins have come after losses, which is, you know, we won last night. It's a night big stat. Up. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And, the, and he's out there, even if he doesn't have his best stuff, he, he gets you through six or seven innings just on, you know, veteran guile. And I just think he's a terrific addition to this club. And as much as we kill Antonetti for the Ubaldo trade, nobody you was calling give him, him Nobody was calling him a week ago when Ubaldo, Ubaldo was unbelievable. I still was. I didn't you buy still, it. You still didn't buy it? He's, look, he's you don't think that's going to happen? Guys. You I, don't think he's going to have a, a good game, a bad game? Two good games, two bad games. Just wait till we get to see he and uh, uh, Fausto Roberto Hernandez yeah. in the same rotation. They might be the same talk, guy, actually. Talk about infuriating. Have you ever but, seen them together in the same but, place? No, <laughs> I haven't. But Derek Lowe, it's, it's a totally different move, but it's Kevin Millwood. It's another one yeah. of those scenarios right. where they're Great getting call. way more than we ever bargained for. In terms well, of the, yeah, the difference was you, you got... Uh, Millwood and paid him a little bit mm -hmm. by big league standards. In this case, as you point out, it's Atlanta paying ten. Million. Right. I think we had. A, I think it was a one-year, eight million dollar deal, and he was a Scott Boris client. It's, and speaking of Scott Boris, Chu, we moved him to the leadoff hole, and it seems like it's worked for the last couple of games. But I think the worst thing that ever happened to him next to the DUI was signing with Scott Boris and having the pressure on him to get that big contract because we offered him a long-term deal and Boris refused to take it. Right. it also, since then, his game's fallen off. But right. it also it's corresponded. Cost a lot of money. It also corresponded. Maybe all the pressure was on when he was trying to get out of that military commitment. All of a sudden, he gets out of it and right. relief hits. That's you know, you just, yeah, maybe. you never know. There are a lot maybe. of things that aligned. Sam in Lexington, is it me or does Perez scare the hell out of everybody when he comes into a close game? I have no confidence in him. I'll tell you what, last night, Look great. I saw him throw that first pitch. I said, he's not hittable tonight. There are nights that thing looks like a balloon. Last night, that had movement, that had, that had everything. And it's been a huge debate at Waiting for Next Year because the stats were that seven games, seven innings wasn't enough from last year to say that he's not good in games where he's not in for the save. And the, half, of the, half the writers were saying, well, no, seven out of 60-some appearances. Right, is a lot. That's, yeah. that's, that's meaningful. Right. It's, it's meaningful, especially because so this we, is so only his third year as closer. So what are you saying? Numbers are the same, but in our minds, our perception is he's not as good of a pitcher. If the pressure's if an, not if, on. In a tie, or if he comes in in a non-safe situation right. or a tie game. Hey, last night, Matt Caps, they brought him in, ninth inning, tie game, and he gave up a single to Kochman, right. the wild pitch, and then they hit to Chu. All right. Bernard writes... Les, I just saw the end of Detroit's 10-8 win. The good news, we don't like good news with injuries, but two outs in the ninth inning. Valverde leaves, accompanied by a trainer. Dotel comes in, uh, and then the final out was caught at the right field wall. So you don't like to see guys get injured. There's no, I'd rather, I'd rather see the Indians knock a home run off Valverde than watch him walk off the field with yeah. trainers. I'd rather see him out there and throw a meatball right. that somebody just crushes. But. I, I honestly don't think that losing your closer in this day and age is that big of a deal. I think these guys grow on trees, as you see from year to year to year. I can't not, remember. It, not if you have um, Mariano Rivera, well, I'm guy like that. If you have someone like that. Valverde was perfect last year. He's right. already blown three saves. Right, right. My control room now trailing 2-1 to one against all-star emailer Ben, <laughs> as far as emails are concerned. <laughs> Speaking of closers, the Yankees placed their new closer, David yeah. Robertson, on the deal with a strained oblique. Rafael uh, Soriano is now taking over. Let's, uh, let's go to Rich. Uh, Rich, you hang on. We'll come back in a moment. 216-575-0403.
is the number. We're going to take a break and talk about the Blue Star Tavern located at Brainerd and Miles uh, in the TD area. Love it. Yes, sir. Right at the corner of, uh, well, we're Miles. We're Soul and an Orange get together. Tonight is Tuesday. It's ribbon filet night. It's wing night tomorrow. Black and New York strip on Thursday. All day fish fry on Friday. Burger and beers on Monday. All at the Blue Star Tavern. We'll come back in a moment. Brought to you by McDonald's Restaurants in Northeast Ohio. And I'm loving it. at chardonlakes.com or call Tom Bond at 440-285-4653. This date in sports history brought to us by, friends, by our friends at uh, Smiley One Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, and Electric. Check them out at smileyone.com, May 15, 1918. They didn't worry about a pitch count with old Walter Johnson. Throws a 19-inning complete game, one nothing shutout over the White Sox. Walter Johnson became the manager of the Cleveland Indians in 1933. Pitched 19 innings? 19 innings. They weren't pitch counting. Nice. They weren't shutting him down. Uh, Smiley one, you want to get that expert uh, Pro Max uh, cooling tune-up and safety inspection, a 30-point inspection, and you'll save money on your cooling bill. Give the guys at Smiley one a call today, 440-449-4328, or visit them on the web at smileyone.com. 216-575-0403 is the number to call. Todd Derry is with so is Craig Lindell from WaitingForNextYear.com. And uh, Rich in uh, Westlake also with us. Hey, Rich. Good evening, Les. Great Good evening. show. Today. I can only go by what I hear. Okay. <laughs> uh, Les, you know, I just want to make one comment about a previous caller, Kerry. You know, I would say forget the eye test. Although, for tonight, the eye test on your show is excellent, uh, Les. But I would suggest maybe a drug test because, <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. Tampa Bay, Toronto, there's a lot of teams in the American League that are better than the Indians. Right. I'm a fan, and, and I like what's going on, but, right. uh, realistically. Hey, so you know I what, though? Your... Wait, hold on one second. TD said the thing that, it, that people don't seem to understand. And he didn't say it, but he meant it. That all you've got to do is get there. St. Louis was the, if you stack up the eight teams in the playoffs last year, St. Louis was the worst of the bunch. They win it all. San Francisco, a couple years ago, same thing. 97 G Indians. G 97 Indians. wins. I think the 97 Indians was the worst team of that run Absolutely. that the Indians had. Yeah. Just get there, and if the pitching gets hot, and the other team takes seven games to get out of their series, and their pitching is all messed up, hey, you, you want to take the best team? You know, we got a casino here. I'll make you a bet. You take the best team. Give me the field. Okay, well, let's, now continue. Let me ask, well, here's what I would say. In order for a team to win consistently, your corner infield and outfield these positions have to hit home runs and drive-in runs, okay? And, uh, but my question to your panel there, and you sort of touched on it, do you think the Indians front office, do you think the fact that, yeah, they've hit lightning in a bottle with Lowe and a few other guys, they've had about three of those, but then you talked about it last night with Dennis Manilov, they've had about 18 guys that they signed off the scrap heap, basically, and they haven't produced. And, and Sizemore is a perfect example, I think. I mean, here you've got, uh, again, I don't want to keep bringing up Cody Ross, but look at the guy's numbers. Or, and look at Willingham's numbers today. I saw him on the scoreboard. Yeah, they're terrific. The they're terrific. But I mean, I mean, they didn't want to give Willingham, opinion, they didn't want to give him the third year. And you know what? At the time, they had nobody signed for next year, let alone after three. And, that, and then they, they finally got smart and science some guys, but I think that was part of the problem. This, this is all hindsight with Willingham. I think he's a nice ball player, but when we were trying to go after him, I didn't want to give him three years. Now you look up and you say to yourself, okay, who's our left fielder for the next three years? We have no idea because Sizemore, I, I'm a big proponent. I was very against the Sizemore signings. Everybody was. And, and giving... Right now, you're paying $8 million to Sizemore and Casey Koshman combined. I was in favor because I didn't think they'd do anything else. They, they weren't going to do anything else anyway. Nothing else was going to step you, into you their lap. You know what would be the irony of the whole thing? Because nobody was in favor of that move. If somehow in this... <laughs> what, what if... I, I, just I, I hate to play what if. What if? <laughs> but what if... He's okay, and he's almost Grady Sizemore from five years. We, we don't know. You know I mean, what? I can't. Had, the odds are way against he him. Had a, he had a three-week stretch last year in April when he's he came off good. the DL, and I said, wow, this guy's yep. back. This is going to be great. Right. And then he got hurt again, and that was it. I, I'm, I'm with you. I, there's no possible way this is going to happen. But if it did, it would solve every it, problem yeah. other than the fact that we have no right-handed bats because you can put Brantley back and left. You can cut loose Johnny Damon, right. who... I, I, you know, I want to give Johnny move. It was a the panic move, by yeah, the way, when I, they were one and four. Well, I want to give Johnny Damon the benefit of the doubt because he didn't have spring training. He has a great track record. But today, we were battering around Jason Marquis like a pinata. Everybody in the lineup, yeah. and he was weakly grounding out. 
Well, and that's the key, though. You know, that's that's the whole lesson I hope they learned last year is that you can go to the scrap heap, you can sign a bunch of these guys, but you better give up sooner rather than later because they held on too long. Yeah, you got to walk yeah. away with, from with it. an Austin Kearns yeah. oh, God. and a couple well, others. Thanks, favorite. Rich. My boy. <laughs> good, good to talk to you. Uh, you know, we have All Star emailer Ben. We also have Mop Up emailer Marty from Strongsville. Guys, the Nationals babied Strasburg last year, and he got hurt anyway. True point. True. If you're hell-bent on limiting him to 160 innings, you'd be better off sitting him until June, then start the season with him then and let him finish. Or how about putting him in the bullpen at the end of the year? They don't have a yeah. closer right now. I, right. I know because Henry Rodriguez is on my fantasy team, right. and he's been terrible for the last two weeks. Or the catcher's gone too, or, right? Or yeah, better yet, the year. as we talked about, just don't share your plan. <laughs> right. So that way, get in house and then nobody talks about it. <laughs> if, but however, if you don't let him pitch till June, you sort of have to spill well, the okay, beans why right. you did that. Marge and Garfield Heights. Les, you forgot to mention today is Joe Tate's birthday. No, I didn't forget. We just it wasn't on the list. He was born uh, 1937 in Evanston, Illinois. Illinois. Happy birthday to Joe. All Star Mailer Ben is back to take a three to one commanding lead. Uh, determining an innings uh, pitching limit, Sports Illustrated writer Tom Verducci is credited with the concept that a pitcher 25 and under is supposed to be at risk if he pitched at least 30 more innings than his previous career high. I well, think it has nothing to do with anything. Justin Verlander has thrown 200 innings basically every single year of his career, and he's been great, and he's never been hurt. CeCe Sabathia, did we limit CeCe Sabathia no. when he came up at and age Milwaukee 19? Didn't, and Milwaukee didn't they stop him, him either. They ran him into the ground. They ran him into the ground. They figured, they we're paying him. him <laughs> we're paying him. He's pitch, pitching, whether he wants to or not. Jim and Menner, go ahead, Jim. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Well, I went to the casino today. Yeah? Hey, was a mob today? Uh, I, I, I got there at a quarter to ten in the morning. Okay. And it wasn't bad. Okay. How, how were the drinks? <laughs> I didn't have any drinks. There was, uh, everything else, everything's complimentary except the alcohol. Yeah. And uh, anyway, it was very, very nice. Good. Did Cut you bring any money home? Cut our nose for a lot, for a lot of trouble out there at Prince Kyle. For ripping us off for all these months. Okay. It was a great. It was great. And um, the only thing that was bad was um, if you had to stand in line for a rewards card. Yeah. They should have done something other than that. They should let right, you sign All right, up. they'll work it out. They'll work it out. Well, that's if they get people that, waiting in line you know, from 2 o'clock, from, from noon till 9.30, you can wait a few minutes for a rewards It's card. really hard to well, carry on a conversation man. with speakerphone. Really hey, are you anyway. on a speakerphone? Yeah. Get off. <laughs> that's anyway, a, trying to run um, a show here. <laughs> sports radio calling 101. Yeah. Turn your radio <laughs> down. Get off the speakerphone. You know, we're thinking of making this like a casino with no clocks. We'll just go till we don't feel like talking anymore. The machines are really hitting good, though. Good. And there's a lot of... Uh, All right, come on, 20, come on. $25 minimum. Yeah, well, that when you get mobbed, that's what happens. All right, go yeah. ahead. But uh, other than that, it was really nice. Okay. Is that so, it? Get out there. Thanks. Bye. That wasn't a very he, good info, Marshall. No, you know, <laughs> him and Menor is a good call 23.6% of the time. So he hits better than most of the, <laughs> yeah. Indians, most of the right. Johnny Damon yeah. uh, at bats. He's hitting better than Kochman. Yeah. Don't yeah. you sort of root for Johnny Damon because of his career? I wanted, I, I wanted him to be good, but I, can I tell yeah. you something? He's the worst defensive player I've ever oh, now, seen in the Oh, now, at this point. He was bad How do you root for ago? a Red Sox slash Yankee slash I'd, guy I who... I rooted for Bill Lambert if he would have came he's back. One oh, of the guys, back to Cleveland. He's one of the guys on those teams I didn't hate. There are plenty... Uh, uh, I agree. There are enough other guys on those teams on. that you can hate. Papelbon, Beckett, those guys are the worst. Okay, I couldn't root for somebody like but that. But it's a non-popularity contest. That doesn't mean I like Johnny Damon. You, you, what about now? <laughs> you want him to succeed, obviously, because he's on well, our yeah, team. Of no, course, he wants him gone now. Well, I, I no, but it was, it's like Trot Nixon. I didn't like Trot Nixon either. Trot Nixon was great for two things. Pies in the face, yeah. and he had that big hit yeah. in, the, in, well, the, uh, in the Boston series. Yeah, but I don't have to like it. By the time we got, I root for the jersey he wears, but yeah. I don't have to yeah. like the guy. Yeah, no, you no, know. I agree. Hey, Two. you know me. I don't root for Casey Blake or Austin Kearns. <laughs> there you go. Two one. What do you have against Austin Kearns? Yeah, oh, come on. I on mean, field production. As, okay, <laughs> right. On field production. Act as yeah. love of continuing love putting him out there when he, he was. was he was. What's his name? He was Jimenez for. He was Wedge's Jimenez. Yeah, Jimenez. 216-575-0403, restaurant Europa, located at the Lander Circle. That's in Pepper Pike. You get a chance to go to DiningForLess.com, pick up a $50 gift coupon, just $25 right now at uh, DiningForLess.com. We'll come back in a moment. TD is with us, and so is Craig Lindell there from WaitingForNextYear.com. We're brought to you by McDonald's Restaurants of Northeast Ohio, and I'm loving it. 
scrapohio.com. 216-575-0403. Frank emails, wants to know if uh, Derek Lee is possible for the Indians. This is another guy who isn't playing, so you got to go through the extended spring training, send him down to the minors. He also, we were hot on him right away, and he let us know right away that he was not interested in yeah. coming here. So, so, no thank you. Yeah. Maybe the standings will change his mind, though. You Maybe. Might be a right -handed, know. You know what? He Maybe. might be a right-handed Kotsman. We needed defender, him five years ago. Anymore. Right. Yeah. We needed yeah. that guy five years ago. Harry is in uh, Cuyahoga Falls. Hi, Harry. Hi. How are you guys this evening? All right. How about you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Hey, I was listening to you talk about the uh, Willingham thing. Yeah. Can, can somebody do the math and explain how much it costs to put the three-headed dragon we have out left field <laughs> versus just bringing Willingham in and giving him an extra year? Well... Which three heads are you talking about? Are you talk they, well, uh, Damon, they're paying. Cunningham, uh, that's Duncan, and uh, Damon. So basically, that's Cunningham, Duncan, and Damon combined is $2.5 million. Yeah. So you're paying seven. Uh, the Twins gave them three years and $21 million, which if you look up, and I could do that over again now and take them for three for 21 and play them in left field for the next three years, I'd do it. Yeah, but you got at the time you didn't like them. Yeah. Right, at the time I wasn't interested. I mean, it's a, it's incredible. The longer the deals go, the less chance they have to to make it through the whole deal. Um, the the guy who really would have worked out well here was Carlos Beltran. Yeah, he would have been perfect. Didn't want to be here. I do have our solution for first base if we're going to trade for somebody. Who? Paul Canerco. Well, <laughs> somebody, who, some, no, somebody who's going it was to be a joke, a, Harry. somebody who's going joke. to be available once Boston gets out of the yeah, mix is Kevin Euclid. Yeah, if they he's want to on pay the last some money. year of his deal. Yep. He, he, uh, no, he's got one more year. Well, no, it's an option. Oh, okay. have, that's a question. Yeah, we wouldn't have to pick him up. The problem is you basically traded your two top prospects for Ubaldo. You only have Lonnie Chisinau, who anybody is going to want that's going to be a ready prospect now. And everybody else that is a top prospect in our system is an A-ball guy. So right. you're really limiting yourself unless you're going to trade some arms. The problem well, with you Euclid, know, got, the problem with Euclid of, is he, he's been getting hurt true. lately, the last two years. But if you, if, if you knew that you were getting a, let, let's they're, they're bringing him off the DL. They're going to send down Will Middlebrooks, which I can't believe as good as he's been. And they're going to showcase Euclid. If he comes up and he starts knocking the cover off the ball, they'll be... 15 suitors. Is, isn't there another place Middlebrooks could play with them? He's a third baseman. They've tried him in the outfield. Supposedly he's been a butcher. But that was the same thing they did with Euclid when they brought him up. He was up and down and up right. and down and up and down. That's, that's just right. kind of their MO right. in yeah. Boston. Yeah. yeah, it's happened to a couple of their guys. Yeah. What else, Harry? Well, you know, I kind of uh, I, 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 I like baseball. I have for years. I enjoy it. I enjoy the Indians. I watch them, you know, on TV. And, you know, I'm not a I'm not a Dolan masher, but the Dolans remind me of the people who bought the big house in the suburbs and don't have the money to put the furniture or right. the lawn in. You know what I mean? They've, yeah, got, we, they've got the product, and they can't improve it because they don't have the wherewithal. No, and you I'm know, kind of hoping that you know maybe the attendance or something will pick up because I'd really like to see left field picked up. We, we, with the we, thank you, Harry. Actually. Thank you. You're we, welcome. We've heard all that stuff before, and, and I don't think it really comes down to that. I, I tried to get to it the other the other week, it's not, it's not just about money. It's an understanding fan base. We don't expect them to go out and spend $30 million a year on, on a guy or whatever. But the, the fact that the collective bargaining agreement just flew right through, nobody seemed to say a word about None it. None of the little guys stood up and said, we're not going to stand for you this know, anymore. It, for all of his faults, and, and Dan Gilbert has plenty that a lot of people like to point out because he's brash and he's out there and he writes emails and letters and comic sans and all that stuff. But at least he fights. You know, when, when the, the Chris Paul stuff was yeah. going down, he wrote that email. He got hung out to dry for it. But he was fighting for his interests and the interests of people that he thought he could align with in yeah. terms of size. He, he was here last week, and we, he talked about the, de, the letter of the decision night. Mm -hmm. And he knew it wasn't going to play well nationally, and it didn't. But his, he was playing to this crowd, and it played well because right now, Except for, and it was a different time, except for Bill Veck. Tell me who's been a more liked owner than this guy. Even Art Modell, no. who was Dick popular Jacob, in the 80s. You could say Dick Jacobs, no, you maybe. I, I don't think that you would. I don't, well, I, the difference is, Gilbert's, I think, the casino and the interest he's brought back into a team that nobody cared about. Right. And I think is, I'm not going to say a direct result from him, but it was him and his leadership that really... Obviously, having LeBron James helped, but that propped this franchise and this organization back into relevancy. 
Well, and the fact that it hasn't collapsed, the fact that, that he was willing to take Baron Davis to get the number one pick. But my point being that the, if the Dolans would have just sent out a press release saying, hey, this CBA is going to go through, but we still think it doesn't really address the fairness of the game. We're against it for this, 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 and this. As this team signs, you know, 10,000 more free agents than we can over the next decade, this system isn't working 100%, but we'll do the best we can, as we always do. The Indians will, t will ask you why they take hits because they couldn't sign Sabathia under, uh, and Lee and guys like that under the rules you're talking about, whereas the rules in basketball favor the, that team keeping their guy with a salary cap. The point is the Dolans get ripped, but nobody rips, uh, the uh, the, nobody rips uh, Gilbert, even though LeBron left under his watch because, when all things were in favor. Because Gilbert fought the system, and right. Gilbert continues to fight the system. The, the perception is that the Dolans don't fight back against Bud Selig and, and the way the status quo in Major League well, Baseball. I'll tell you why they don't, because they're getting all that extra backside money that nobody yeah. ever talks about. Right. And, you know, I don't know if that Forbes report is true or not, but according to that Forbes report, yeah, the Indians million. and the Pirates made money last year. Right. But, and I know you go when it's 12 degrees. You go to the games. Right. I know that. I see you there. Um, the, the reality is the league, MLB, doesn't do the Indians a favor. They, they had 17 games in, in April, I believe, or May, well, April but they have, the nine, they have nine in June. They have the Tigers coming during midweek right. when you know thousands of Tiger fans would come in, let them spend their money in our casinos instead of them spending it, or uh, us spending it there. My other favorite is when they start a uh, Oakland A's in Cleveland in April. Right. Why would we be playing here and not in yeah, Oakland? of course, or yeah. dome stadiums yeah. or, or whatever. I mean, they open against Toronto. I believe yeah, yeah. Toronto has a dome. That's it should have correct. been opening there. All right, Sokolowski's University, and we haven't been there in a while. Today. We gotta go. Very what are soon. we waiting for? Make I'll sure tell you, you what invite I'm waiting me. for, some chocolate cream pie. From Sokolowski, so good. You know, you, you would you would think of Salisbury steak, you think of pierogies, you think That's of my chocolate meal. cream pie, chicken fried steak. First chicken of all, that is my steak. exact meal, you know. And then I run a hundred miles afterwards. <laughs> yeah, but it's, worth it. it's, <laughs> it's well, well worth, worth it. it. Bernie yeah. and Mike Sokolowski's University in eleven to three Monday through Friday. You know, seventy-five people from Lolly the trolley go there every week. With more people coming into town, more people are going to find out about the great Sokolowski's University. It's the we're, best. We're coming back one more time. Craig is with us, so is TD from WaitingForNextYear.com, brought to you by McDonald's for Amazing Tickets.com. Tomorrow night, uh, Mary Kay Cabot will join us. You see us Monday through Friday from 6 until 7, replays at 11 right here on NEON, the Northeast Ohio Network of Time Warner Cable. Terry Pluto will be here on Thursday. I will uh, be taking some well-deserved time off in the next week. We'll, uh, uh, we'll have Patrick Pearson will be in for me Monday with the Plain Dealer Roundtable. Rest of the week, some of the uh, top shows we have had over the years. Uh, uh, Kirk, uh, 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 Kirk Hayhurst. You know, uh, Dirk, Dirk Hayhurst. Yeah. He was one of the best shows we've ever had. A minor league pitcher wound up with the Padres. Uh, Steve Stone, who was with us uh, one time when the White Sox were rained out against the Indians, a terrific show. And then Dan Gilbert's show from last week. Uh, that'll be here next week. So I'll be taking well-deserved time off. Luke, I think it's a little bit of West Coast. Uh, you keep saying it. it's got to be a West Coast offer. Again? Yeah, oh, okay. I'll be mulling it over. Okay. If you say it's well deserved, it'll eventually be true. Exactly. Let's go to uh, Bud, who's in Mansfield. Go ahead, Bud. Evening, guys. Good evening. I think the Cleveland organization might be solving their own left-handed left fielders' problems. What do you mean? They're down there playing Laporta in left field. He's played over twelve games. I watched him play twice. And what did you see? You saw a guy who could hit minor league pitching pretty well, right? Oh, I've seen a left fielder catch a ball and throw it. Yeah, you know, there, that's true. There's no difference in left field and the minors. If you can field the ball in the majors, you can field well, in the minors. Anybody, However, hitting is a little different. I guarantee anybody he throws gonna, better than right, Johnny Damon. Exactly. <laughs> Anybody's going to throw better than Damon. I think, Bud, I think you oh. throw better than Damon. And I don't. He would, he, I could, and I'm 70 years old. <laughs> uh, do you think he can hit at this level? I, I, they completely changed his swing. Okay. I, don't know if he's gonna I hope so. Like that other dude. I, I just I think there's too much on the line right now to experiment up here. Well, well, look but, what we're although he would be the answer. You know what though? Thanks, they're, bud. They're experimenting with Damon. Yeah. It, re really, I think I know Laporta is four A. Okay, I know it. Right. But I think we were talking about this off the uh, during the break. I think he's got one more shot in him. Yeah, I, I don't think that's it. Yeah, another couple of weeks. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Dan and Hubbard. Dan, go ahead. I agree with Todd. I think he's got one more shot. I don't know exactly when, and I think maybe you're right right now. I don't know. but You're talking about Laporta. 
Yeah, okay. but I, I agree with you, too, that maybe now's not the time because we're still in first place. But okay. See, I disagree. I'd rather do it now than later. You well, know. maybe, but I, mean, I guess my theory is when we everybody downs the Dolans, we ought to remember back in the 90s, Dolans paid the highest payroll in the history of the Indians. And, and he, they don't deficit spend, and you know what? Dick no. Jacobs didn't either. No, well, Dick Jacobs was a genius when it came to money. Yeah, we need a right-handed power hitter. How about Joe Carter? Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, but I, here's, here's my one theory on this. We've got $10 million invested in Kochman, Damon, and Grady Sizemore, who the, the, the butterball turkey thermometer popped on him two years ago, and we still gave him $5 million. There's $10 million. That, what did we really get out well, of Well, you that? didn't know Kochman wasn't going to hit. Well, he hit one year. I mean, he, he hit 217 yeah, the year before. I last. understand I mean, that. But the, the past year, the most recent year, he had hit yeah, over 300. But re, I mean, yeah, if, but obviously, if he knew he couldn't hit, he wouldn't have signed him. They also signed well, yes, him for we his would have. We signed a boatload of people that can't hit. So that doesn't mean anything. Well, who did you want at first base this year? Well, Go, I don't know. Going I'm into just spring training. That we've got $10 million invested in this. And what is everybody going to say next year, Les, when they find a reason to re up? Hafner somehow. Well, well no. the, the ten million you're talking about is mostly tied up in Sizemore. It's uh, you know, Kochman is the going well, rate for it. Half of it is. Half of it is. Well, well, and I'll yeah. stand behind. I'll, I'm the only one in the world, but I'll stand by the Sizemore thing because they weren't going to do anything yeah. else. Okay. There was nothing else available. Yeah, yeah but, but, it but you know what? Shot yeah, I got hurt. But the yeah. biggest, the biggest problem I had. The biggest problem I had with Grady <laughs> is nobody else was lining up to sign him for five million dollars. Yeah, right. We could have waited and got him for two. less than that. Yeah. Dan, I got to run. With you. All right, have a good night. Thank guys. you. Thank you for the call. All right, that'll do it for us. We made it through. Nice work. Quick hour. Very. Yeah. See, in the casinos, they don't have clocks. Here, we don't have clocks. We just go you know until we run out. The one similarity between here and the casino? What's that? Ice cold. <laughs> I can feel that air conditioning. It's, it's like a death vent above me. I'll probably, probably win just as much here as I do at the casino. <laughs> Breaking even. Yeah. All right, that'll do it for us. Thanks to uh, the great guys from uh, the great website, waitingfornextyear.com, TD, and Craig Lindle. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. Mary Kate Cabot will be here. Terry Pluto on Thursday. Of all the shows I've ever done, this was the most recent.